I had that image before coming here that career fairs are very helpful. Uh, but when I attended it on my own, what what I generally saw was uh, companies come here to sell themselves, and students are trying to sell themselves to find a good match. And generally, what happens is some companies they like most of the companies uh, they won't be. Uh, uh hiring you on the spot or willing to give you an interview they would just tell you that okay this is what we do or they'll probably take your resume or ask you to fill a form and they'll tell you to apply online if you have completed a lot of credits you are on the verge of getting a, a complete like if you are on the verge of graduating they'll probably give you uh, an on site interview the other day as far as uh, getting an internship is concerned i would say that most of the students got an internship on their own by applying online by uh, applying on linkedin handshake other job portals a few of my friends got into amazon this semester and they had to undergo three rounds so uh, the first first round is uh, where they ask you uh, three they ask them three uh, interview coding questions uh, which were generally like i would say easy to medium level uh, i would say that's their first filter process the second even the second round is a coding round and in the third round what happens is uh, it's it's uh, you have to sit in front of a web a webcam it's a live coding session i would say almost uh, 70 to 80% people get an interview interview before they graduate at least in the cs department uh, get an internship sorry forty five to fifty dollars for hour everyone tends to get uh, pay around at least twenty five to thirty five dollars the mid size companies I would give them a solid nine out of ten because they keep on email you emailing you uh, before the career fair and they'll ask you <laughs> to build their uh, build your LinkedIn profile they'll they'll get behind you to uh, evaluate your resume and uh, have mock interview sessions i would say that it's based based on your performance in the company if you are able to impress them you'll get a job everything you've written on your resume that is very important don't try to add a skill which you don't have or you haven't practiced for a while let's say you've mentioned java but if they ask you to code in java you you're not able to it that will be very bad for you uh they'll show like they'll, they'll give you a very, a very bad uh, impression so uh, know everything on your with as mentioned on your resume and uh, as far as software development job is concerned students over here they tend to practice on a website called lead code where there are around 1000 questions weekly contests if i i would say that if even if you practice uh, practice let's say 400 500 questions you are actually like way good to go and there's a book called cracking the coding interview which is which is which is something i am doing right now i don't think it makes a difference if you are a fresher or uh, have let's say have work experience of one year or two years